Do you know who I am? What's my name? Who man? That's right! Oh my god! <laughs> Hey, what's up everyone? Who in with a man who I actually absolutely idolize. His name is Tarsim and Tarsim, um, before we get into- I need to pronounce that better for a brown guy. How do you say it? How do you say it? <laughs> Tarsim. Tarsim, Tarsim. Now listen, people know you from uh, obviously the, the Cell and the, the Motorola commercial, the Razor, correct? Mm -hmm. And uh, Commercials I've done tons all over the world. And the REM video, Losing My Religion. Um, in my mind, you are a complete badass. Do you see us being friends by the end of this interview? Depends. <laughs> Man. On what? I don't know. It depends on your question and if I have the right answers. All right. Now, your new film is The Fall. Um, now, the story of how this movie came together is incredible. So give us the Cliff Notes version. Oh, my God. Okay. 23 years ago, I had this idea, which was the idea of using the body language of another person to tell them the story you want to tell them. It took about 17 years of location scouting around the world, about seven years for looking for the girl slash boy. When I found her, made the movie immediately, which immediately still meant four and a half years of shooting. And I think in the end, we ended up in about more than 24, so about 28 countries. And uh, it's finished now. And are you happy with the end product? I love it. I was made for this. Everything's downhill now. How are the audiences receiving the film? It's very polarizing. Pretty phenomenal if you see it in a great cinema with the right crowd. And it's just one of those things, if you buy its pill and go for that trip, that you're in for a hell of a ride. Whereas if you don't get it, it's not your film, it's polarizing. You won't say com si com si. You'll come away going, <gasps> or you'll come away going. <clears throat> what was the hardest sequence to shoot in the film? Ooh. But you being Persian, you should know, we got, we got stoned out of a mosque. We were thrown out of a couple of places a couple of times. Wow, and what, what country was the mosque in? This is in India, in Fatehpur Sikri. Hmm, try saying that one. Fatehpur Sikri. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're Persian, you can get away. It's all right. Whoa, hey, you got a coffee in your hand. It's called jump cut. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay. I think you're magic. Oh, thank you, my friend. <laughs> Why do you take so much time between your films? Why don't you just keep spitting them out? Everyone's dying to see what Tarsem... Tarsem. <laughs> Tarsem is up to next. Oh, good attempt on the name there. But... <laughs> no, no. Uh, hmm. No, when there's visual stuff like this, it, the, the cell, the kind, that, that popcorn stuff is easier for me. I can do about two a year, maybe. It wouldn't be a problem. But something like this, it's a very obsessive idea that had to be self-financed and that many countries to shoot. It's going to be very difficult to ever get, you know, like a license, insurance or anything like that for that kind of film. So it is a one-off. Are you on Facebook or MySpace? Uh, no, somebody told me recently how to go on them and I looked at something, but no, I'm, I'm quite computer illiterate. I thought I would probably actually go and you know, learn stuff on the computer quite quickly the first time I got interested in, you know, internet porn. But unfortunately, I got bored with it, you know, before I could actually really switch. So it was just, I just, two weeks of excitement and then I just, I'm old school, just went back to magazines. Your last relationship was rough, huh? Oh, uh, no, it was rough on me when it ended. Really? Hmm. Did you dump her or did she dump you? She dumped me. If we dumped her, it wouldn't have been difficult. No, no, she dumped me, went off, married kids so quickly. It just took me too long to come around. Did you go to the ex-girlfriend's wedding? No, I didn't. In fact, I just met her recently and just really good morale booster when your ex-girlfriend's all fucked up. Dude, this is the best. This is like, this is surpassing my expectations. No, unfortunately, <laughs> it's, it's true. Are you in love with this new girl? Very much. Is she famous? No. No, she's a photographer and she's absolutely brilliant. Do your parents like her? My parents, mm, well, my mom, from the very beginning, all she wanted was for me to marry an Indian girl, and I wouldn't do it, wouldn't do it, wouldn't do it. When it took so long, at this particular point, she's just, it's a girl, great. <laughs> Women can't live with her, can't fit more than two in your trunk. Tarsim. 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 We have an opportunity for you to win a big prize if you get one question correct. Tarsim. 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 Do you know who I am? What's my name? I think it rhymes with homo. <laughs> wow, you speak Farsi too? No, you can't tell what I'm saying. Shama Beki man, Yes, Mr. Machia. Who man? Who man, me the name. It starts rhyming like Hanuman for me. First, I thought when she told me, I said Hanuman, so I knew you, man. Farsi is Shama Khali Khuba. Merci, merci. Back in Kuchik Budam to Iran, Budam to Pansion, Rudam to Hindustan, Rafti Miran Harsal was Kuchik with him. Yod Gereftam.